We are with the third guitarist in the band, Emmett. Emmett, how are you doing? I'm doing great, how are you? Really well. I'm excited to talk to you because we already talked to Jordan and Brent and they have cables, real amps, uh, non-scale fretboards. So you bring a whole different <laughs> flair to the, to the band. You got wireless unit, We'll get to the Kemper, yeah. scallop fretboard up and down that sucker. So, but let's start talking about the guitar and then we'll get to the fretboard. But okay. tell me about the instrument. Yeah, so this is my custom whip uh, built by <laughs> Dave Johnson of Scale Model Guitars. I'm sure we've mentioned Dave eight or nine times at this point. Do you point. guys get like credit per mention? <laughs> like a, Between you and me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, so I went to a National Guitar Workshop when I was a kid and my teacher there, uh, Shane Roberts, had a Fender Performer and it was the first time I'd ever seen one. I was just blown away. It was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. I want to play one of those someday. And never thought I would actually get my hands on a real one. So um, I was talking to Dave after I had an old guitar fall out of the back of Ian's pickup truck. I thought it was lost Ooh. forever. I thought, okay, we got to build a custom whip now, Dave. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's build a performer. Um, so Dave was like, all right, we got to do this thing. Let's see if we can find a real performer that we can sketch and make a model of mm -hmm. to build this thing. So I put out, um, an ad on Craigslist, I said, hey, if anybody's got a performer, I would love to get my hands on one. And almost immediately, I got an anonymous response, like, this may be of use to you. <laughs> and it was one-to-one -one plans of the body, like the center line and everything. Wow. Somebody had like, drawn one up in CAD uh, and just sent it our way. So that was the basis um, for the thing. And from then, we just spec'd it out. Um, yeah, 24 scallop frets, uh, ebony fretboard. Maybe a little silly to use ebony if you're going to scallop them anyway, but... I, don't know. I mean, it's your guitar, it's your whip. Uh, yeah. You do what you want. Yeah. Um, what about pickups? Pickups. So we've got Seymour Duncan uh, in the neck and middle, hot stack for strat plus. It's a mouthful. Something, one of, one of those. Yeah, one of those you super know, one strat, of those super, super strat screamer thing. demon. You know but, it, you love it. Um, but uh, you used to rock Ingve. That's right. Referencing the, the scallop the fretboard. Scallop, yeah, I thought it was really cool how he could play a very high gain with single coils and still get a very clear and articulate sound. Yeah. Um, so I had those on the old whip that fell out of Ian's uh, truck. <laughs> it's somewhere off 65 or yeah, 40. Yeah, seriously. If, I would love it if we could like put the word out there. It's like, this guitar is out there in Nashville. Like, I, keep, I still check Craigslist to this day. Some days no luck. Up, but anyway, yeah. Um, What's in the bridge? The bridge is hand wound by our buddy Alex Avedisian. Oh, OK. Um, down in Atlanta, he makes incredible pickups, and uh, yeah, it's hot, uh, but it balances well with the, the single coils. And I've got it wired up now so that position, I always get this confused, if this one is two or four, whichever one is by the bridge, it goes into single coil mode. Okay. Um, and then we've got the add the neck pickup, so we can do bridge and neck, or uh, if you're feeling fancy, all three. Nice. Yeah. And what was the decision to go with uh, all scallop rather than like the Ingve style where it's yeah. like kind of partially up the neck? Yeah, my um, teacher growing up, Stan Laster here in Nashville, um, all his guitars were, had the full scallop and I always wanted to try it out. I was always curious what that was yeah. Like, uh, like. Yeah. So I got to give a shout out to uh, Stan the man. And so you fell in love with it, obviously. Yeah. yeah, it took some getting used to. I think it's not inherently faster, but once you adjust your touch to it, then you can really rip. And what was the decision behind the, the Wilkinson here for the bridge? Um, I got on all parts and I found the most expensive one. I, I sorted <laughs> by like, you know, top down. And yeah. I was like, that one's gold. I like it. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. What should we know about strings that you're using? Yeah, these are Diderio XL. Uh, I use the coated ones. These are 11 to 4, 48. Yeah, that's 40, you can 40, like trail 50, off. 40, uh, you know, the coated ones. Yeah. The 11s. I, I glossed over this. I should go back because I don't want any disrespect to your mother, but oh, tell yeah. me about the paint job. My mom painted this. That is um, so rad. Yeah. She, um, so we, it, Dave spray painted like this navy blue color and then she went over it with a metallic uh, pen. It's like acrylic paint or something. Um, metallic. And uh, she signed it over here somewhere. You'd see mom. And this is uh, my dog at the time, Scooby, little dachshund. Oh, RIP. Scoob. Yeah, we got to get Scoob in there. And uh, what's on the neck plate here? Oh, yeah, Tough Gus did this. He, uh, our drummer Tough Gus engraved this little wizard hat. Uh, yeah. Awesome.